know what you're thinking, there's no catenary on this layout. It's all right, because we're reviewing the DVT and the Mark IV coaches. So the Hornby Class 91 for double O gauge, its coaches and DVT have arrived. And Richard is so excited he can hardly contain himself. You've been waiting for this for a little while, haven't you? You've, you've been making me wait to play with this train until yes. the end of the day today. Correct, yes. <laughs> yes. You have to work hard to get to play with the trains. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think actually uh, it's well worth the wait as well. I think when, when you see this whole train together now, apart from the lack of overhead wires here, it does look really good as well. Um, it's something about having a complete rake again. It's like we talked about in another video about the complete rake scenario. Something very specific to the modern era of the railway as well, where things match and align with each other as well. It's nice as well, the individual products, so the individual car carriages and things, uh, connect well to each other. Yes. Um, so it makes the whole train feel as one. Yeah, that's right, definitely. So. Um, this whole set is in the uh, GNER livery, um, which is uh, we've got 91112 Cancer Reach Research UK at the front. We've got a set of seven um, Mark IV coaches in between, because a couple are still to come out as well. There's the uh, trailer standard disabled still to come, uh, and there's another first class coach due as well. Uh, and in that, we've got four first class coaches, we've got the buffet car, and we've got two first class vehicles as well. And then at the back of the train, or the front of the train, depending on whether we're pushing or pulling, uh, we've got the uh, DVT as well, 82225. Uh, which just completes itself really nicely. And it's nice that we've got the GNER livery because that signalled a real change for the locomotives. Yes, definitely, well, and for the whole of the East Coast at that point. Yeah. I mean, prior to this, you had intercity livery. Um, prior to this was the nationalised railway. Um, GNER was the first private operator of the East Coast main line. Uh, and they undertook, um, one, like many companies did at that time, a, a big investment to upgrade the trains for customer improvements. Um, they introduced Wi-Fi, I believe they were the first train company to offer Wi-Fi on board their trains, uh, and that meant modification to the DVT to have that dome on top of the roof. Um, and they refurbished all the interiors, and they brought out this fantastic colour scheme as well. So coming back to the model, what are some of the improvements we can expect compared to the 30-year-old tooling that's just gone before it? So, quite a lot in, in all. Um, starting with the locomotive itself, um, gone are the days where you had a single motor bogey unit to provide power. There's now a proper die cast chassis in there. There's a, a 21 pin decoder socket. There's also uh, configurable lighting as well, so you can control the lighting with DCC as well. You can turn off the uh, tail lights, which is a nice function as well. Um, Massive improvement in terms of detail, um, massive improvement in terms of haulage and traction as well. Uh, so that's just the logo part. Um, the coaches are much more refined than what went before. Uh, and for the first time as well, you've actually got the proper vehicles being made as well. So as far as I can uh, remember, the uh, original Mark IV collection from Hornby was basically a first class, a buffet and a standard class coach. Um, the Coach B, which has no gangway at one end, has never ever been available ready to run in double O gauge before. Um, and then you've got correct vehicles to make up that full formation for each colour scheme as well. Which is a sign of the times really and how we're modelling as modellers that Hornby feel the need to do every individual coach. Yeah, so gone are the times where they could get away with having that first class yeah. buffet and a standard class coach and they're not going to have all the vehicles because we want those full trains as well. Yeah. So when you put this train together now you'll see the correctly lettered vehicles on the coaches along the train uh, and beyond that as well you've got really nicely turned metal scale wheels as well uh, and also all these got NEM coupling pockets and for this video, we've fitted them with the bar couplings that come in the packs as well. So you've got three options for couplings with these. You've got the standard factory tension locks, which just has a light area of the piece of rolling stock. Uh, you've got the European style hook and loop couplings, which you can put on instead. Or you've got the close coupling bars, which you've got on here, which I think are the, uh, the right choice myself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You have to put the bar on. Definitely. Now, the only thing with the bar is that actually it brought the 91 too close to uh, Coach B for our layout. 
Um, so it's just a little bit too close when it's pushing. I think if it had been pulling, I think it'd just be enough slack there for it to work okay. Uh, but when it was pushing, it was just pushing a little bit too hard against the coach and caused a couple of derailments. So just something to keep an eye on for your own layouts and things. Yeah, particularly the first time you run it. Yes. Um, but definitely bar couplings are the, the way forward. Um, and in terms of repelling as well, it makes it much more stable. And it's, it's such a clever system because the way it's sprung, so when they're going along, the um, gangways are almost touching. There's, there's like a mill between them, if that. And then the way they spring out to sort of give the space as they go around the corner, it's a very clever design. Yeah, so it's, it's what's become quite a common yeah. kinematic coupling design. Um, it, it's, it works really well. It just opens out the coaches on the curves, allows them to come, cope with second radius curves, which is what these are designed to work on as a minimum, um, without then having a massive gap in the middle when you're on the straight track. So. And I mean, I'll overlay a clip now, and you can see as the train is uh, pushing, the rest of its uh, uh, train past the station behind me, there's hardly any gap at all. But then even when it's going the other way, there's no gap. Yeah, that's right. It's a nice system, looks great, and finished this train off. It's very nice. And of course the DVT is the final piece of the puzzle. That's right, yeah. So the DVT, I mean, the, you know, the old Hornby DVT, it, it looks like a East Coast DVT, but it wasn't as refined at all as what we've got in the layout here today. Um, this has got, again, directional lighting. It's got the option to switch between day and night modes on it as well. Uh, it's also got cab lights in it as well. Uh, and there's plenty of space inside there to add sound as well. So you can add all those characteristic uh, Mark IV noises into your train as well. Um, and again, like the, uh, the rest of the train, it's got the option to put in the bar coupling as well. Uh, and one of the things I really like about it, it's got the full air dam at the bottom as well. So it's got a full detailed air dam down there. So Mike, obviously Hornby are releasing several versions of their new Class 91 coaches and DVT. How much are they and when will they be available? Right, so the locomotives are priced at £217.99 uh, in DCC ready form. The coaches are priced at £44.99 each and the DVTs are priced at £84.99 each. Uh, now in terms of availability, um, the first batch of Class 91 from the 2020 announcement are now all available. So you can buy a Intercity one, the GNER one, for the Fallen and an LNER one as uh, the Fusiliers, I think it is. Uh, so you've got that choice of four, but there are two more coming in, uh, I believe now 2023 as well, uh, which is the, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Loco and the Flying Scotsman branded one as well. So two exciting liveries there, which we're probably going to fight over. I was going to um, say, it's, yeah. that's a done deal, that is. Yeah, done deal my way, yeah. <laughs> in terms of coaches, uh, the full set of uh, GNER vehicles that are on the layout today are now available, uh, but there are two more vehicles to come as well, so later in this year in terms of the GNER set. Uh, and then that's going to be followed by the LNAR coaches and the intercity delivery vehicles as well. So then you'll be able to assemble full rakes for each period behind the correctly coloured 91 as well. It's quite an exciting period for the 91 because there's so many, there's still new liveries going on yeah. on the network. There are. Hornby have to do them. They do. They must do. They must do. Uh, and, and you're in pain all the time now because they're always. going past me and I, I like them now as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, yeah, I've always liked 91s, I've always had a, a long association with 91s, I used to go past the school playing fields um, and that was much better than playing football and rugby. So. so knowing us and our passion for all things Electra, we're bound to have stacks of content. We certainly have, yes. So we've already reviewed the Class 91s in Hornby magazine, we've covered both For the Fallen and the intercity delivered version as well. Uh, that was in uh, earlier this summer. Uh, then in issue 183 we've got our full review of the Mark IV coaches. In issue 184 then the DVT arrives, we've got a review of the DVT as well. And if you go to keymodelworld.com slash class91, then you'll find our entire collection of Class 91 and Mark IV related um, review material, features, and modelling guides there as well uh, to get your teeth into. So if you can't find them in your magazines, you can go to the website and you can find them all there. It's one of my favourite pages, you know. I bet it is. Mm. Is that you're the one clicking on it all the time? Yeah, the clicks refresh, on refresh, yeah. refresh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that brings us nicely to the end of another video, sadly. Thank you very much as ever for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Introducing Key Model World, your new online destination for everything railway and scale modelling. Featuring exclusive videos and features, unseen images, step-by-step -step guides, railway history and the latest news. Plus, it's home to our full layout build series. But I'm going to stop you right there though, because I didn't do this. This is all you're doing. <laughs> Join us for the latest content from Key Publishing's modelling titles, Hornby Magazine and Airfix Model World. Sign up today for as little as £3.75 per month, or if you're a magazine subscriber, bolt Key Model World onto your subscription package now. 
For more details, visit keymodelworld.com.